Hey guys, welcome to week 10. Wow, 10 weeks have gone already. Right, I have prepared the rudder box, the transom reinforcement, the bottom stiffeners for the inside, and the tiller. And all this because I will apply three coats of epoxy on all these pieces and glue them in place. I have also put some putty on the holes. I didn't use the blob method to fill the holes because this ample's uh, fairing compound and this sands really well. So I just applied with, um, with the squidges. Uh, it will be dry hopefully still today. Uh, maybe I can sand and apply epoxy to the decks as well. Right, in more detail, the tiller. I have rounded this with a router and I have sanded the inside here where the rudder box will glue and I rounded this by hand not with the router because this is really soft and the roller bearing would leave a mark there I didn't want that so I just did it by hand this will go in here like two or three inches forward of the bulkhead. I still have to open the uh, hole there to match the mast partner. And see, yeah, I guess that's it for today. That's a lot of work. Uh, let's see if I can do all that today. But first, let's start with the first coat on all these parts. And by the way, guys, I bought an extra kilo of resin. Because this here, it's almost gone. Now, while I wait for that to dry or to get tacky so I can apply more coats on those parts, I'm going to open the, the holder for the mast. I'm going to reach underneath, drill from underneath, and then I'll put the rotor in here and just open it. Because of that epoxy there, I can't trim this straight, so I'm going to have to use a file. Oh boy, I need a bit more putty there. And while I'm still waiting for the epoxy to dry on those parts and the putty on the decks, I'm going to start cleaning the planks. I'm not going to shape them, just clean them. These are small tasks that you can do while you're waiting for um, epoxy or paints to cure or whatever. So, if you got a belt sander, put this on the blank first before you use the planer, because that epoxy won't be kind on your um, blades, I can assure you that. We need one of the sides to be nice and flat. That's the, the side we're gonna put on our working surface so we can then align the template and work on the other side first. So this side doesn't really have to be that straight, just the middle portion. But since we, we've got the tools here, let's do our best. <laughs>
These parts are not dry yet, still somewhat sticky, so I cannot put them in place yet. So I'm going to do the rounds here. I've got a rounding bit there for a four millimeter radius, which is more or less the thickness of the plywood. So fingers crossed, the bits are right. Okay, I've decided I'm going to commit to the three coats of epoxy tonight. That means I won't go to bed before midnight, 1 a.m. Because I have to come here, do a coat. That will only take like 15 minutes or so, but then I have to go wait for an hour, hour and a half, and then come back to another one and so on. But I decided I'm going to do it, so let's start. Remember, if you commit to this, you need to have about three to four hours for the three coats, okay? Now that I have spread most of the epoxy so it doesn't heat up on the cup or in the cup, I'm going to Give it a good coat here on the on the edges that I just rounded with a with a router and the gunnels as well. I've already sanded them, so it's been only half an hour since I've uh, applied the first coat, but. There's no epoxy whatsoever on the surface, so I'm going to do the second coat straight away. And that's epoxy done. I need to give it a quick sanding before I apply primer. And I can also, before I do the primer, I will also fit this bottom stickers there. But for now, let's start with sanding. I'm done with all the sanding, so it's time to start applying epoxy on the gluing surfaces and I'm going to glue the rudder box as well and the transom reinforcement.
and that's it everything is glued now or gluing and I'm gonna take a small break and then I'll return to apply some primer here right just had a bite to eat and now it's time for light primer this time I won't use the foam rollers because they just integrate and these ones I didn't like them either because they're supposed to be nice round but if you have a look here they do create an edge for some reason and that leaves a mark every time I roll so I'm not using this again this time we're going for the nap something can't remember Well, looks like I won't need anti-skid here. <laughs> okay, so uh, I can see that that probably needs a bit of putty there. That's the butt joint, you can still see it there. I forgot to... <laughs> Fill one of these screw holes and another one there and I'm pretty sure yeah there's another one there I already scraped the bolt here which isn't too good and, and there and that needs putty as well another little hole this butt joint can't even see where it is so that's good same with the other one Okay, there's one thing I need to do before I start the interior uh, or the cockpit area and that is to fill in that gap there between the stringers and um, the bulkhead. That gap's there because the plans call for 20 by 20 or 19 by 19 but the strips I had were nine, uh, 20 by 15 so obviously there's a gap there. This should be thicker and this should be good wood, strong wood because they have the reinforcements for the bottom but that's what I had and so I need to fill it with epoxy and microfibers. Now that that is out of the way, I'm going to start sanding the fillets. Just like sanding, just to uh, score it so the varnish can um, stick to it, not trying to make it smooth. And that is just a rounded piece of wood that's about 20 diameter or 10 radius if you rather and some 60 grit actually 80, 80 grit, yeah 80 and that works really well Okay, I've cleaned most of the dust or as much as I could and I'm going to start varnishing the bottom. I'm going to use Impulse Marine Varnish. This is actually leftover from my Goat Island skiff so it's about almost four years old now so I hope it's still okay. This is a brand new can but I'm going to try using this one for the bottom. Okay so on the bottom I'm not worried about a uh, nice finish because I will add anti-skids to to the varnish. I've used marine varnish for my Gold Island skiff 
um, on the bottom, sides, everything interior was marine varnish and that lasted quite a while. Uh, the f on the bottom of the, f of the boat I actually mixed anti-slip pearls and that has lasted three, four seasons. Four seasons without having to uh, add any varnish or any uh, anti-skid. I will use just a roller and a small brush for the corners and that's it. I won't do rolling tip, I'll just roll it because let's be honest, when you put that on top is almost like sandpaper, so... <laughs> All right, so tomorrow I'll try to get a proper brush a good quality brush so I can get a, a better finish here on these surfaces. Um, for today I won't do anything else, just let it dry. Tomorrow I'll apply another one on the bottom, do the sides and the, the seats and the third coat on the bottom will take the anti-skid. Okay, so I've applied a second coat of varnish on the bottom about 40 minutes ago, so it will not run if I turn it on its side now, so I can varnish the inside panels. Okay, I have thinned this varnish by 5% and I have a brand new brush, so hopefully this will work better than the roll. Okay, now I'll wait about half an hour, 40 minutes, before I turn it over and paint and varnish the other side. Right guys, I finished the three coats of varnish on the sides and the bottom. I will not apply any more, I think that's enough. Apart from the bottom that will take the coat with um, anti-skid. I have also screwed up big time, <laughs> but I won't tell you what it was because I don't want to end the week or the video on that note. So let's talk about the good stuff. I have actually, for the first time I think, finished all the stuff I had on my list for the week. I also worked more hours, I worked 15 hours this week instead of the 8 to 10 that I usually do, so that's an extra 5 hours, but I'm happy with what I achieved this week and next week I will hopefully finish the hull. So what am I going to do next week? Two coats of paint here, another coat on the side and the bottom, I will open the center case slot, which I should have done ages ago, and I actually couldn't varnish the, the seat 
because I don't have the, the hole there yet. I might try to fix the screw up I've done this week. I'm still thinking about it. I'll let you know on my Patreon page for free. You don't have to pay anything. I will put a small video there this week to tell you what happened. Um, so visit my Patreon page. I might start looking for some hardware and maybe fitting some like um, for the downhole, for the hiking straps, uh, the gudgeons, I don't know. Let's see what I can get my hands on next week. And by the way, guys, if you found my videos interesting and if they're helping you in any way, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you soon.